Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bioacid joined by Dr. Curry here at ACL Brisbane for Championship Sunday. Winners bracket semi final matchup about to get underway We're again. Mm -hmm. Immunity this time up against the Storm Capital Punishment. Now, we just saw Avant 3 1 curse. Yeah. So Avant securing themselves winners bracket final. And top three position. Guarantee top three, exactly. And one of these teams here is also securing themselves top three finish here. But who, what's the question? Is it going to be Immunity? Gonna be capital punishment storm. We've got an interesting fact to point out as well. This is Immunity's first game of the day. Mm -hmm. A few little few minutes just before to warm up. But is it enough to go against CP? Now CP obviously played first up this morning up against Royal. Yeah. And uh, dominated them in some nice fashion as well. So those good matches earlier off this morning. So it will be interesting to see if the fact that you know Immunity haven't really warmed up or had a proper match yet today. Yeah. If that'll affect them at the same time. Naked. Same position as Damage, no voice. No voice. So his comms... Not as bad, though. He actually he, can yeah, talk. He can talk a bit better, but he was bit. sort of cheering a bit during that Avant and Curse yeah. match, so I'm not sure if that was a wise he, move by I, him. I, I did, have a, I did have a little chat with Sal, but he's not as bad to the extent of Damage, but he's, he's definitely not 100%. I know he was feeling a little bit ill last night, wasn't in good sorts at all, and he went home or went to his hotel and crashed yeah. out. So He went to the casino. He went to the casino and crashed out. Same thing. This guy lives there. Uh, but we'll be going into a domination on strike zone. One of these teams guaranteeing themselves a top three position. By it's sad to say, we're down to the thick end of it. We are left with the best teams in the Australian and New Zealand region. We've got some amazing games still going on the ground floor. 2XO up against Trident Rebellion. If you hear any random screaming in the background, I guarantee you it's mental going off his head like he yeah, always does. Yeah, there was some people in the audience, even mm -hmm. during the Avant Curse matchup, people behind us yelling and screaming. It's who we're referring to as Mini Gareth. Now, Gareth or G-Mon. I love, break. you got to love Gareth. He's an, he, he looks identical to him. And I was talking to Mitch, I was like, is that Gareth? And he's like, I was like that's not Gareth, isn't he? That's he goes, no, nah, it's not Gareth. Nah. It's a guy who looks identical to him. So now we've got, we've got Mini Mikester. Mini Mikester. Good name. And now we've got a Mini Gareth as well. Mini Gareth. It's, it's, Damn. I don't know what's going on with the uh, We need a Mini Bio pool. next. We need no. a Mini Bio. Just like a 12-year-old that looks like he's 14. Don't say stuff like that. I'm old enough to have kids, so I don't want people saying we need a mini bio. Moving on, though. Domination on strike zone to kick things off this morning, this afternoon for this matchup. Yep. S&D on oh, Warhawk to follow, and then Blitz on Freight as well. So they're guaranteed three. If we need mm -hmm. to see them, though, we I think we'll go the wire. Strike zone. I think we'll go all the way down, yeah. to be honest. Well, I there's just... double strike zones to come with a domination. Double strike then, zone. Uh, sorry, double sovereign, sorry. Okay, well, it's... Domination on Sovereign it, and it, also S&D on Sovereign. Okay, so that's going to be interesting. Always good Search and Destroy Sovereign if we get to the distance. That's Immunity's favorite map for Search and Destroy. What's interesting is Immunity... All right, from past experience, it's safe to say Immunity are the better team. CP, on the other hand, they've had the warm-up. They've had the practice. They've performed extremely well constantly on the main stage, whereas Immunity, they've yet to really experience it throughout day two. They know what needs to be brought to the table, but at this stage, you've got to be leaning a little bit towards the Capital Punishment guys. It's going to be interesting. Of course, Fighter, he's back on the squad. We discussed this in depth yesterday. Yeah. Shocks, Buzzo, Naked, that makes up the immunity roster. And then you got the trio, Beaston, Rigsy, and last one, I've got this, Rigsy, Beaston. Ram Rampage. So, I'm sorry, Rampage. How could I forget about you? Who's their fourth? And their fourth, of course, is Luca. That's it. Luca, the, he's the, probably, you'd say to say... He can test Verenzen for the smallest and youngest one here. Mm. But I tell you what, he's better than the majority of the players here. He's still not the youngest, though. He's, not he's, the youngest. he's not the youngest. 11, turning 12. Such a 12 -y. Moving in, 12 -y though, into the first matchup. Like we said, best of the five series. First to three will take it out. Domination on strikes. Trying to kick things off here in good fashion. Who's, who's going big? Each team. I'm going to go with Fighter and, you know, Luqua. Luqua. I've got, got faith in Luqua. Luqua. I like the little... The Lou you added. And he's doing what a lot of people don't do, and I mentioned this earlier off today. In one they of the don't matches. rush it. They Agreed. don't do pro shot. People just don't do it, but they're changing it up. Oh, look at that. They just stopped the immunity from getting the home flag. Woo! Look at that. Luke what? breaking the silence. Beautiful double. That's going to get control of A. But can he lock it down? There's a hip fire. Another one to his name. And Luke what? goes big when it's needed. That's allowed his team to rotate around, but immunity showing some big strength. They're going to lock down B, and then just a few seconds more, they should get A under their control. And hold a two cap in the first 30 seconds. Yeah, just like that, you know, we did see an awesome start from CP, as you mentioned, but Ooh, Immunity right really it. turning it back in their favor very quickly now. Over on the A side of things, we've got two players there. However, Immunity are rotating to see. It's a smart play. They're going to hold down that B control and watch that mid cut. Shots coming out. Beast picks up shocks there as he tries to cut up out through mid. They fall back just to keep an eye on B. Thanks to the mini maps we're referring to right now. And you can see how they split up. They set one player from probably naked. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. I know Fido has pushed down to C. The other ones have stayed up and defending over there in the B side of things. So, Immunity, you know, smart play indeed with that rotation, but also the defending style. And we mentioned this yesterday. Immunity, they love to yep. defend B. They'll sit someone inside a bar the whole, the whole time that they for will. 10 minutes. Exactly right. And it, if you follow the Australian... Oh, oh, oh look at Shocks. Beautiful double as a play from behind gets... That's actually Rigsy. He gets one, he gets two, and Rampage gets the third one. But if you guys follow the Australian and the Australian New Zealand competitive Call of Duty scene, you'd know Immunity... They love this map. Strike Zone Domination is their bread and butter. And if you knew anything about Capital Punishment, they're not a fan of Strike Zone Domination. They did versus Royal last night on it. And I was talking to Rampage before. He's like, he's not the biggest fan, and so are his teammates of Strike Zone Domination. But they say they've been improving so much over the past weekend with the land scrimming that they've been doing. They do feel somewhat confident. And they're going to need that confidence, especially up against Immunity, as Shox picks up one and Rigsy backs into the cover. Looking at Fighter right now, is on that four and three with that two point streak. Now he's got seven next to his name. I'm pretty sure he's died since then in regards to this streak. So I'm not too sure how that's all applicating. They're just across giving him there. three points. There it is. There the it game is. loves it. back down to six. Yeah, they just want to it, keep it's going down. Making now. him look as better than what he actually <laughs> is. Maybe he hit that pinnacle 99. Has to go backwards now, but he will see shocks on our screens. Picks up the wall. Ooh, ooh. I would have thought he had that kill, but Melted. no. Rigsy says no. As they shut him down, but they still have the A flight that is trying to keep CP off it for the time being. Fire's going to push around here with Naked from that immunity squad. Nine point lead for them. First quarter now gone. Two and a half minutes remaining here in the second. As we'll see here. With an also 10 point margin, but mm -hmm. immunity, you know, I would have thought it'd be up more by now, but CP really making it hard for immunity to hold that two flag advantage for very long. Agreed on that one. I'm proud to see Naked doing as well as he is, seeing as though he's conditioned right now. Buzzo, nice kill there. We discussed it also yesterday. Buzzo loves this vector, putting it to great use there, picking up a double to secure that A flag for his team. Rotating in towards B, there is one player. Get testing him. Rigsy gets the bit of a revenge kill. Shocks shuts him down from behind. Leaping Panther style. And now Beasting gets the rebound. There's one. There's two. Still there's one more player defending B, but Buzzo rotated through. The actual pro shop area now coming back over towards P. Capital punishment. They need to capitalize. Great stun check by Buzzo. Allows his team to get the kill and the assist. Three down right there as Immunity once again take control of B. We both have Shocks and Fighter up on a few point streaks of their own. Shocks was on a five point streak a moment ago. 14 and 7. Going off as always. His name. And I could call it, you know, having a massive member first of the park here. Now, I said Luke would go off as well. He's 11 mm -hmm. and 12, so, you know, he's gone off in kills. He, he had a good start. No, no, no caps, mm. but, you know, he's still up there in regards to the kills. You'll see. R Rigsy and Rampage, sorry, both up there. A few caps, but not so many kills per se. Rampage on our screens now. Five and six with four caps to his name. As they defend here inside of V, trying Ooh. to hold immunity at bay at the front. Oracle mode engaged. So Challenge. Get an idea of where these players are out there. And while they try and push on through, Rampage Ooh. goes for the cancellation. Pops That's out beautiful. with the assist. Thanks to Beast for cleaning that one up as well. Rampage playing that picture perfect there. Decided, you know, I'm not going to challenge that. Duck in behind cover. And he threw the stun check. Allowed his team... To get the kill 6-6-4 six, six, right now for Rampage. Four catches. He's getting the kills. He may have a few deaths to his name, but it doesn't matter too much. Beast did nice kill onto Buzzo there. There's still one more on C. He has to get tested, but they're looking straight up towards him. He delays it, and it could work out quite well, but he chokes the shots. That's going to cost him, but rotates towards the courtyard section. He's got a few bullets, and he only gets a hit mark. His shock shuts him down. Rampage from behind gets the one, and he'll be able to get control, or at least neutralize off C. He needs to check top catwalk naked right there to clean him up. As we see here, Riggs on our screens for the final moments of this first half. A 15-point lead, Immunity are up by right now. And it might increase by a little bit more towards the end. It won't be by much, maybe about 18 Ooh, points after the next update or two. So it's over to Beeston. Here with now 10 seconds left on that clock. Look at that scores. 20 and 11 for Shocks in the first half. 11 and 13 for Fighter. Naked 9 and 11. 10 and 14 for Buzzard. Oh. Rampage 8 and 8. 15 and 12 for Beast and Rigsy. 13 and 15. And then 13 and 16 for Luqua. Shocks. So 88 to 69. <laughs> 69. You had to, didn't you? Oh, it's no matter how old you get, you still find things like that amusing. I don't know why. 19 point lead. You, you call me a 12 year old, but you still have the mind of a child. I do. You do. I do. At least you admit it there, and it was 88 to 69. I won't make excuses. You won't make excuses, so you technically have two 12 year olds casting here. Oh, we, I guess we do. What, ACL, what are you thinking? Like, honestly, can we, blame, can we just casting? blame Markster as yeah, we always do? Yeah, damn it, Markster. Or Damo. Damo had or one Damo. job. Yeah, Damo had one job. Damn it, Damo. But into the action we go. Shocks is top scoring. Nearly a 2KD. Going to get a kill to break it. Oh, I like that play. Tags it. Cuts around the corner. Absolutely pulls down the pants of Beast and gives him a spanking. B capture for the team of Immunity. Fighter, he's going to do that role of chilling back on the bar, watching the doorway, and making sure no one from CP challenges it. 
And he does spot the players, gives the call outs, and just ducks into cover, playing the role that he should be. And he might be able to get a kill or two here. Did you need that? Oh, I would have oh. thought he had the first one at the very least. I thought he'd make it cleaned up after that behind boxes, but it wasn't to be the case. Buzzing, nice little two piece there inside of that bar area. Trying to clear it out, pops Ooh. up to say hi. Riggs is there to say hello back. Rampage on our screens, nine and nine with five caps to his name here. As he's trying to peek and poke around that top mid part. Couldn't pick up the kill. So they are holding down to their A flag. Look at that hop skip and a jump by Naked. Now, Naked is very short in real Naked. life. That's why he had to pop up over the boxes there. That's why you saw him like that. But Luca, the knife on buzzer, making a drop by Riggsy just there moments ago. So CP fighting alive in this one. 30 points, that difference for the time being. Mm -hmm. But still, immunity very much in control. Improving their lead from the first half. Shocked. Oh, he's only died once since a uh, As I say that, he drops the second time. We picked up some beautiful kills and a capture over on B. Now naked. Jumps onto A. Dummies the actual capture. Looks towards mid. Doesn't find anyone. But quick spawn over at the pro section area. Luke Wall was able to clean him up. And Immunity is showing a great focus over at B. But it's starting to cost them now as the team of Capital Punishment do have A and B in control. The Lone Ranger, one Immunity player trying to capture it there. As you can see him through Oracle. And Rixie is going to be in a one-on-one -on -one gun battle. But can he win it, though? Comes around pre-fire. There it is. Oh, Buzzo gets him. That could be a game changer right there from the man of Buzzo. And Naked gets a kill, too. They love that jumping around. They do. And you'll see that scoreline, 122 to 96. Three minutes left. Almost down to the final quarter here, ladies and gentlemen. As we currently here with Rixie, 1919. Oh, he gets taken down as I say that. Curse of the Caster coming into play. As it always usually does. Beast 10 is hitting the way at that corner. Try to pick up the player that's currently upstairs running around. Luke was doubles going to help him out. Naked and fighter up there. As Shoss Ganson's back for a double of his own. On two of the players from CP. And then, of course, getting picked up by Rampage afterwards. 132 to 101. 31 point. The difference. Final quarter now coming in. Alrighty then. You just gave us a quick description. As we're watching Luke, let's see if he can make some big plays. Looks like he might be able to do so. Defend A. Get some warning shots out. Obviously, the warning wasn't made clear to Shocks. He just shoots him right back. Now, Beastead picks up one. Concuss doesn't even matter. He gets a second kill. Just around the corner. Nearly destroys Buzzo. Will feel the revenge kill. Rigsy will try and take his positioning. Spots one player there. Putting out some warning tags. Doesn't go for the rotation to B. That could cost him Rampage. Last one alive. Can he defend B? The grenades and stuns get thrown in his general direction. Two-piece for Buzzo. Naked gets one, two. Rigsy, last one alive. Trying to gain control of the courtyard. He does do so. There's still plenty of players from the Immunity Squad on the rotation. We hit that 150 mark now. Right now, of course, Immunity do have that lead. We did see CP with two flag advantage for a little while there, but it wasn't long enough to really make that much of a difference and close that gap that Immunity had already put up. So we see now, buzzing on our screen, seven-point streak. He's on 22 and 21 with four caps to his name. Here alone, he's picking up kills. Oh, he's pushing in a pro shot that with that C spawn. And yeah, you know, he, he tried to pre a bit too soon. 20, oh, was looking at that score line now. As it increases on up once again. It's going to be like a 32 point lead at the moment in favour of that immunity squad. And here with Fighter, as he tries to break even, he will do so. But look at Shocks, 34 18. Oh, Shocks! Two caps, almost a triple again. He's just cleaning up every which way where these players push at him. He's about to break the 40 bomb. Can he do it? Six kills in a minute. That's one a second. Ooh. And Fighter just ran into every single player here we go. of Capital Punishment. Shocks on your screen. There's one. There will be a few more players who will try and contest him. Rotates around. Oh, the pre-fire nearly gets a kill. But Beaston, he got the first shot off, and it worked out quite well in his favor. Buzzo rotated to see. It looks like they're going for the triple gap here. At least we'll get the neutralization as a player from CP. Luca rotates around. He'll be able to recapture it. But that did force the rotation off B. Now Fighter gets one. Gets destroyed by his former, or his fill, should I say, Rampage. And Riggsy in the background takes out Shocks. Looks like Shocks won't be able... To, oh, he could. He there's could get the time. 40 bomb still. There's there's still time. 30 seconds left in his four kills to do it. It'll be the first 40 bomb I've seen since being here during this event. I've seen plenty of 30. Oh, the naked, 40 just though. yet. That's a three player down just there for a moment from both teams, actually. As they cleaned up a bunch, as did Beeston. Right now, a few players pushing up and around. Shock still to get a kill. Shock still has got a kill in the last 45 seconds. We cursed him. We did. He's We're sorry, Shock. He's had a minute to get those kills, and he's only gotten about one in the whole minute. So for 45 no. seconds, he didn't actually get any, and he's noticed it. Oh, that counts. Yeah, well, we'll mark that as 37. 37. Shocks. Poor old Buzz, not to get the tail end of that. As you're seeing your screens <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, like, that is yes. the immunity squad. Right Can't down the end is naked. Oh, he, got Ooh. he got buzzing, followed by that? Shocks and Fighter. Yeah, I heard the conk. Hey, talking smack to their former team. I, I, that's... Well, 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 what do we got going over here oh. from the Immunity Boys? A little bit of smack talk. you got to respect it. Got to love it. But Rampage did do well. 22 for 19 with seven captures. 
So they may want to, you know, smack talk him a little bit. He did do quite well for his team. Immunity, they're happy to lock that one down and go up one to nothing in the best of five series. That was their preferred map of domination. Mm. So we have to take that into factor. But CP, they did show they can hang. But in the final, like, we came down to those crucial moments around the B flag. They just choked it. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, you know, while they did have two flags here and there, they didn't actually defend them well enough. Yeah. That rotation, while they were working on the rotation a fair bit, the defense and the flags they had for the time being, this wasn't working for them. Mm -hmm. That's what sort of cost them in the end there. So we will be seeing an S&D on Warhawk up next, ladies and gentlemen. It will be game number two in this semifinal matchup between Immunity and CP. Don't go anywhere.